So now we're going to talk about the short declaration operator. I know in the last video I said we're going to talk about package funct, but we'll do that in a couple more videos. I want to show you how to uh, take a value and assign it to a variable and be able to use it first before we talk about package funct. And then we'll talk about a few key, uh, few, few terms, a few terms that you should know, some terminology related to programming. Because I want to make sure that if you're just getting into coding, you understand the terminology so that when you read the terminology from somewhere else, um, you know what's being talked about. So I want to just explain a little bit of programming terminology. So the short declaration operator is used to allow us to assign a value to a variable. So here I'm assigning 42 to the variable x. If you look at the short declaration operator, it kind of either looks like a gopher or the Punisher from that Marvel Comics series, Punisher Marvel, which is kind of interesting. And uh, so there's the Punisher, two eyes and kind of like three bars for a mouth. If you look at the images, we'll try to find one right here, right? Like there's the iconic classic Punisher image. And so, uh, you know, maybe the team that created the Go programming language, <laughs> maybe they saw that and they thought that, you know, we, we should have a gopher for a mascot because of the short declaration operator. But the short declaration operator is one of the great things about the Go programming language. It allows us to achieve ease of programming and write cleaner, you know, more concise code. And you could use the short declaration operator in any, only inside of a code block. So you could only use the short declaration operator inside of a code block. But I was saying that maybe this is why the gopher became the mascot, because that kind of looks like a gopher. And I gave you a link, by the way, in our course outline. And uh, the course outline has a link to Rene French's artwork, which is, uh, you know, all of the Go stuff. And it's Creative Commons 3.0 attribution license. If you want to uh, use the gopher, this is where you could come to get it. And they have different gophers for different things. Gophers flying planes, all kinds of gophers. So that's a short declaration operator. And just to see that in Go, if you uh, have a variable, you have to use that variable, otherwise it's an error. So x is declared and not used. However, if we print out x, then everything is fine. And we could assign, you know, a string to this, like that, James Bond, and then we print that out, bam, and, uh, and that is all fine. Now because this is called the short declaration operator, I want to take a second and talk about, now we're moving into terminology, I want to talk about this terminology here. I want to talk about operators and operands, I want to talk about a statement and expressions, and I also want to talk about keywords. Because I mentioned keywords in the previous video, and then I realized that maybe some people don't know what keywords are. And uh, if you're new to programming, there's, you know, there's no reason why you should already know what a keyword is. But in programming, programming languages will have keywords. And those keywords are sometimes also called reserved words. And keywords, or also known as reserved words, keywords cannot, you cannot use keywords, right? Those are reserved for the programming language. And so those are specific keywords that allow you to interact and operate with the programming language. And so we saw in the language spec here that there are some keywords. These are all of the keywords. Those are reserved for use in specific situations. So I couldn't take a keyword like a uh, package, and I couldn't use that for a variable. So this code right here totally runs, but if I change this variable name here to package, and then I say, okay, let's call the variable package, it's gonna be like, this doesn't work, because package means something in the programming language. So when I use the word package, it has to be to say, this is the package that this code belongs to. <laughs> I can't use it for a variable name. I have to use package in a precise way in the programming language. And if I change this just as simply as calling it packages, well, this is no longer package, it's packages, and that will totally run. It is only the word package, which is a keyword, a reserved word, which uh, you know has to be used in a specific way in the programming language. So these are all of the keywords in the programming language. The next thing I wanna talk about are operators. And so here are operators, and you can see that this gopher, <laughs> I want to call it the punisher, but that's not so good, that doesn't have such good connotations. You can see that this, uh, this gopher, this colon equals, the short declaration operator is, uh, is one of the operators. So what are operators? So operators allow, they do something, operators do something. So here in 42 plus 7, that, uh, the plus sign is an operator and it is operating 
on 42 and 7. What is the operation it's doing? It's adding them together. So that's why we call it an operator. And uh, 42 and 7 would be called operands. And so the short declaration operator is like taking this, it's operating on this and on this, and it's taking this value and it's assigning it to that variable. So it's the short declaration operator, just like this is the addition operator. And that'll totally run. And, uh, and then this also really nicely, uh, so that's operators and operands, right? So we have that terminology, we have keywords, and then we have operator and operand. And next, the last thing we'll talk about, just so you're getting some of this programming terminology, is we'll talk about statements and expressions. Because I hear people uh, using those interchangeably and incorrectly. And so there's a difference between a statement and, uh, and an expression. And so right here, we have an expression. Expressions can evaluate. They, they evaluate to something. A statement is like a line of code which does something. It's like, do this. You're telling the computer to do something. You're making a statement. You know, like, do this, and then do this, and then do this. Those are statements. Statements usually occupy an entire line in and of themselves. And statements can be made up of expressions. And so here's an expression, right? And then here's another expression. Take this stuff and put it over here. And all of that together is, uh, is a statement. And if we look that up, right? Like if we go to like statement, computer science, statement programming, we see here that, let me just bring this over and I'll make it bigger. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. There we go. Almost perfect. In computer programming, a statement is the smallest standalone element of an imperative programming language that expresses some action to be carried out. It is an instruction written in a high-level language that commands the computer to perform a specified action. A program written in such a language is formed by a sequence of one or more statements. A statement may have internal components, e.g. expressions. And so we look at an expression. An expression in a programming language is a combination of one or more explicit values, constants, variables, operators, and functions that the programming language interprets according to its particular rules and of association computes to produce another value. The process as for mathematical expressions is called evaluation. And so that's, a, that's a, you know, what a statement is and that's what an expression is. So you, you, the main takeaway from this video is that there's this thing called the short declaration operator. It's the colon equals. This is the you know, common way to assign a value to a variable and, uh, and you can only use it between curly braces, between curlies, inside of a code block. So curly braces, curlies, inside of a code block, that's all me saying the same thing. You can only use it inside here. If I took this up here and put it out here, that's not gonna work. It's gonna say, I don't know what the heck, you know, non-declaration statement outside function body. And so I'm gonna pull that out and put it down here and it totally works. So you can only use the short declaration operator inside of a code block, inside of curly braces. And uh, seemed like there's something else I want to say about that. And the scope of this, the scope of this is only from where the variable exists to the end, to the end of the function. So that's the scope of X. This is the scope of Y. This is going to throw an error because X and Y do not exist yet, right? And uh, that's, that's where the scope lives of those. So if I hit that, I've got undefined. Uh, and if I take this out, then it's gonna run because that's the scope. And we'll learn a little bit more about the definition of scope in a future video. We'll talk more about scope. So that's uh, the short declaration operator. And it uh, seemed like there's one more thing I wanted to say about that. Let me think and see if I remember what it was. All right, I got it. So, you know, right here I have uh, the short declaration operator and I'm gonna uh, just come down here and we printed out the values and it's 49 and James Bond. Those are the values they're printing out. I could also put this code like this, you know, X, Y and have it like that. And so that'll put them each on their own line because this prints to an entire line. And, uh, and then let's say I wanted to come down here and I wanted to make X 50. And so if I do this, I'm gonna get an error because I'm trying to like say, you use the colon equal the first time that you, you create a variable. That's called initializing the variable. And so that's initial, like initial, the initial time you do it, we're initializing the variable. It's the short declaration operator. We use that the first time. This is gonna throw an error because I'm trying to basically you know, say, hey, create this variable, but it already exists. 
And so if I run this, the error is going to be no new variables on left side of colon equals, <laughs> which is great. That's a super clear explanation of what's going on. And that's happening on line 12, right? So line 12, no new variables on left side of colon equal. And uh, what that means is, uh, you know, hey, this, this already exists. So if I take out that equal sign and just do an assignment, now I am just assigning the value to the variable x, which already exists. And if we come back, come back here and we look at the different, uh, different stuff that we have here, one of the operators is just an equal sign, right? So we're, we're assigning a value there. So that's, uh, that's some good stuff uh, about you know, uh, the short declaration operator. You learned about the short declaration operator. And then you saw that you use it the first time you create a variable. And that if you want to assign a new value to that variable, you just use the equal sign. And that you have to use the short declaration operator inside of a code block. And uh, you also learned some terminology about uh, operators and operands and keywords. And uh, what else? <laughs> Statements and expressions. So you learned some good terminology about that. So some great stuff. If that was a little bit too much for you, just remember the takeaway is that colon equals right there, that's the short declaration operator. And you could only use it inside of code block between curly braces and use it to create and assign a value to a variable the first time and then use the equal sign to reassign a value there. And for the rest of these terms, just come in here and read them and reflect on them if they're new to you. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna talk about another way that we could declare variables and assign values to variables, but doing it outside of a code block, outside of the curly braces.